is National Mushroom Month. And right now, we welcome dietitian Adrian Ramo in the studio to share a healthy mushroom recipe. And uh, what exactly are we going to be preparing for today? We'll be making cauliflower walnut crumbles. But I also like to tell people that mushrooms are, mo are one of the most overlooked and underutilized foods in the American diet, despite their health benefits. They're a great source of potassium and vitamin D, and they help our immune system, which is great for the upcoming flu season. And does it matter how you make them? I mean, if they're cooked, if they're on a pizza, are they mm -hmm. still good for you? They're still good for you, <laughs> yes. They can be used a variety of ways. Um, some people make broth out of them, teas. You can throw them into, and I'll show you what I'll do with the ground beef, essentially. Mm -hmm. But the cauliflower crumbles are basically three main ingredients and then a bunch of um, other ingredients. So we have cauliflower. You'll just want to core this, and you'll throw it into the food processor to pulverize it until it looks like rice a little bit. Same thing with eight ounces of mushrooms, one cup of walnuts. And then once you have all th three of those ingredients, you'll put them into a bowl. Then three tablespoons of tamari, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of chili powder, half a tablespoon of cumin, and then we have paprika, onion powder, and garlic, garlic powder. I like a little bit of adobo seasoning here too. It's very savory. Mm -hmm. And basically once you've baked it for about 40 minutes, stirring in between, you'll have what looks like ground beef, but without the grease, and it's a good plant-based vegan option too. So you can put it under tacos, which is one of my favorite things right now. I made yeah. you guys little scoops too. Oh, these are so cute. And you can also put it into a marinara sauce, anywhere that you would put um, ground beef. So I would also say lasagna, chili, all that. Good replacement. I'm just gonna put my fingers in here, so okay. I'm gonna try it. It's really see. good. Yeah, you it like tastes it. like meat. See, you're not really. really I don't know anything. if it tastes like meat. I'll be honest, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> it's delicious, actually, and I love that we're using cauliflower, so that's healthy. And of course, you got the nuts. A little bit of everything. So, so there's a bunch varieties. of different kinds of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Is there a preference to give? I would say not so much a plant like flavor something that's like more flavorful I would mushrooms. say shiitake is one of the most flavorful ones it has a lot of umami that savory flavor uh, but a lot of them work in various ways like the portobello if you grill that mm -hmm. it's very tasty too mm -hmm. one of the most important things to do is to get your mushrooms from a trusted supplier so your grocery store or a farmer's market you don't want to just go into the forest and start eating mushrooms yeah you don't want to get poisoned <laughs> that way that's good advice okay well thank you so much for being here thank we you. will post this recipe on 10tv.com for you so that you can find it and try this healthier option and i i really do think it's delicious but okay. well, it doesn't taste like ground beef it does to you it really does i think there's something one. wrong with your taste <laughs> Good job. Thank you. she's drinking too much hot coffee you don't have no taste <laughs> oh, that's true